lot of people have had the same problem of jumping and using their bodies to try and get the kick over and it really has nothing to do with your body okay you really just want to start off in the upright position and your body is basically holding that position and your legs do most of the work okay because it is a kick so you want to make sure that your legs are doing the work the legs are actually kicking okay now this kick stems from a jump crescent kick so make sure that you've got a good jump crescent kick okay which we covered on another tape make sure you got that first okay as long as that's comfortable you know try and stay on that same side some people jump crescent on one side and then double leg on the other side kind of hurts it okay so you want to try and stick to the same side that you do your jump crescent on so when we're doing a double leg okay from i'm going to step in like this okay so we're going to go in left and right pushing off body up whipping the legs over okay so you don't want to step in and then just try and wrench in this way okay it's not going to work you want to go up and then let your legs do the work so i'll demonstrate that set position okay keeping your legs together trick to keeping your legs together starting off with your legs close if you start off and try and jump from this far you're not going to be able to keep them together because now you're going to have to pull them that far in the air and it's a lot harder to bring your legs together in the air than it is to just start off with them closer and then close them, say, this much as opposed to this much. So now when you step in, you want to also keep your energy concentrated to going up. So as you're stepping in, make sure that they're kind of close but comfortable. So around like your shoulder width. So now when you're pushing off, you can whip and pull your legs in closer from the start. Okay, you don't want to try and wait till your legs are up here, then pull because it's too late. You want to start pulling them from the start. Okay, so watch again. Set, right over the top, okay? All legs. When you're pushing off, make sure that your legs are locking out completely on the jump. You're not going to get a good double leg if you jump from like here, okay? And when you step in, you don't want to start from here because then you've got to come all the way up here, okay? You want to stay in a comfortable range of bending the knee and then push all the way up to your toes are pointed, okay? As soon as you take off, you want to whip your legs straight across here. Okay, just like this, whipping right across, keeping them nice and tight, okay? As long as you do that, you're gonna get that nice whip out of the action instead of just going up and slowly rotating. Okay, that's all from pulling in your body. You don't want to, you wanna go up, body straight, chest up, whip your legs over as hard as you can to the side, laying on two feet, okay? One more time from this angle, set, whipping them over. I'll do it one time this way. So you can watch the feet and then watch me pull them together. Set. Okay, nice and tight. From the moment I'm taking off, I'm pulling, pulling, pulling so that they're nice and tight when I land, okay? A lot of people pull with their bodies. Don't pull with your bodies, focus on your legs, okay? Now we're gonna go right into a vert side kick. Very similar to a double leg, take off and everything. That's all the same. Only difference is now when you're going for the kick, you're gonna push like a side kick, similar to the gainer side kick that Will was doing earlier. That's basically the form that you want here, but now you take offs differently. So here I'm gonna take off just like a double leg, rotating over. Okay, now as I'm rotating over, I'll show you this on the floor. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I'm gonna chamber in here, okay? I'm tucking in this leg. My right leg is gonna do the kick. As I'm coming over, I'm gonna push towards the ceiling and then rotate all the way over, okay? So when you're doing this, you want to try and throw your kick early. You don't want to throw it late, okay? You don't want to throw it straight forward because it's too late. You won't see the kick. You want to throw it up at the sky, coming around, okay? Here we go. Set. Straight out, pushing at the ceiling and trying to hold that leg locked out until it hits. Again, set position, step push hard and the further you pull back that leg the better it's gonna look okay one more time from this angle set step push. okay when you kick kick hard kick as if you're trying to kill somebody break a board shatter someone all that good stuff one time from the side so you can see it setting Stepping in same way as a double leg, pushing off same way as a double leg, but now we're chambering and side kick, pulling away from the leg. Set. And over, okay? 
So make sure you got your double leg down, great, and then go on to this. Makes it a lot easier, okay? Focus on the basics, all those steps, using your legs, instead of trying to focus on using your body, because the body doesn't really do anything besides give you the ability to go up instead of out or around, okay? Focus on the basics, work on the advance, that's the key.